right a little tips and tricks sort of video for today i'm going to pretty much show you how you can take a docker command so just deploying any sort of container and it has like a bunch of variables and stuff like that and you want to manage this via compose instead so having a compose file for all your deployments so how do you go about it when they're giving you a docker command line to run rather than you know a compose file it's actually straightforward and i'm going to show you an easy way to convert this command into a compose file i'm also going to show you how you can take an existing running container and generate a compose file from that as well Hey everyone, like I just mentioned, in this video I'm going to show you how you can turn a docker command into a compose file and I'm also going to show you how you can take a docker container that's already running and generate a compose file from that as well. Now the key reasons you might want to do this is one, I just like having compose files. It's great to have on hand. It's really easy to manage containers, bring them up, bring them down using the compose file. All of your configuration stays the same. You don't have to figure out, you know, look through your command line history to find out how that container was deployed. Docker Compose is just pretty much like a good self-written documentation for how your container was deployed. Yeah, it just makes things way easier. Now, before getting into the video, I just want to say a massive thank you for all the support. We're nearly at 10,000, so if you have watched a few of my videos, please subscribe. It'd be awesome. But that's enough from me. Let's get into it. So I like using examples for all of my stuff. So let's have a look at Ghost. So if we scroll down and say we're wanting to deploy Ghost, right, for the first time, we can see that they've got a command here that we need to run, right, to deploy this container. Now, we can just essentially copy and change what they need to in the command line. Now, what I do when they don't provide a compose file is I'll grab this command, copy this, and there's a few ways you can go about it. If you have ChatGPT, uh, ChatGPT is actually really good at turning command lines into compose files. So, for example, so here I can say convert this Docker command to compose. It will take that command, I'll hit enter, and then it's going to generate a compose file for me. It's really great. I, I use this quite a fair bit, actually. So there you go, it's kind of given you a compose file. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't like ChatGPT or if you just, you know, for whatever reason you don't want to use it, there's this other tool. And IT Tools is actually really handy and you can actually self-host this yourself. It's just got a bunch of tools on the side. So on the left-hand side, if you can see, we've got token generators, we've got converters, um, you've got all these web tools uh, and whatnot. So you can host this as a container so you can just access this whenever you need it. It's fantastic. Uh, I really, I'll leave a link in the description uh, for IT tools if you're keen on checking it out. But a thing they also have here is to docker run to docker compose converter, right? So we're changing that docker run command into compose and it just did it live straight away. As soon as I pasted it in there, there you go. It's given us our version, our services, image, port, environment, container name. So and obviously this is like a kind of a small example, but I think you get the point. Now, if you're like me and you just like having your containers deployed by Compose, this is your use case for why you might want to do this. Now, what about if we already have a container up and running, how do we get a Compose file from that? Well, that's where Docker Auto Compose comes in. So you can see here, uh, it's a GitHub repository. I'll leave a link in the description for it. So if we scroll down here, we can see a bunch of ways of actually using this. We can use Python and whatnot, but I just want to keep everything managed by Docker, right? I want to deploy things by Docker, manage things by Docker. So they've got a command here, all right, which you can run. And now this is the probably a few times where this is short lived. So there's no point really having this as a compose file. So we're on my sandbox server right now. So if I just do a Docker a PS hyphen A, we can see all the containers I have running on here. It's a bit messy. But the main thing is, let's say this pingvin instance, right? Let's say this was deployed by someone via the command line. It's got all these configurations and I want to have this managed by Compose, right? How, how would you go about doing this? Now you could inspect it and then build it out that way or you can use, so you could use this command here. So it's a Docker run and then you're, you, it's connecting to the Docker socket, which means uh, this container that we're deploying, that's just going to be short lived, can see the containers that are running on my host and then it's going to create a Compose file from it. So essentially what you're doing is all you need to do is put the ID of the container at the end here, and then it will go, cool, I'll find that container and generate it. So let's see what happens. I'll hit enter, and there we go. I'll just zoom out a little bit, and there you go. So there's the networks, the services, all the environments and stuff that this container is using. We'll paste it in here, and now we can have a good look at it. So there you go. So we've got our networks that it was using, the name of the network, our services, the commands that were used when it was deployed, any environment variables, the host name, the image it's using, uh, labels and stuff like this. Now, obviously there's parts in here we can tidy up, right? 
there's sections in here we can remove in that but if you're just looking for that way to get just the core functionality into a compose and then you can tidy it up as you need but yeah that's essentially it so it tools is fantastic for the initial part if you're wanting to convert the a docker run command into a compose then it tools and then if you are wanting to generate a compose file from an already running container then that's where docker auto compose comes in but yeah all the links to everything will be below. Uh, if you've got any questions and if you're keen just to have a chat about things, Discord link is also below. Um, we give away Raspberry Pis every now and then. I think I've given away four now. Uh, so yeah, just every once in a while we'll run a Raspberry Pi giveaway. So yeah, make sure to check that out. Um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support. Like I mentioned before, we're nearly at 10,000 subscribers. Crazy. Uh, but yeah, really appreciate it. Have a good one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.